it's Estelle here. So today's video is going to be more of a talking video where I let you guys get to know me more by telling you guys some things about me that you might have not known about me. So I get some questions asking what grade am I in, what AP classes I've taken already, and what classes I've taken in general, what my goals are for high school, which colleges I'm planning to apply to, etc. So I figured that I'd just answer them all in one video and kind of have this as an intro video because this channel is going to have two different parts to it. One part is just going to be study tips and just general things like how to prepare for exams, how to take notes, how to succeed in school, how to get straight A's, etc. But there's going to be a second part. The second part is going to be all about me. Now I know that might sound self-centered, but I actually have noticed that there is no other YouTube channel that actually discusses about life in high school for a student who's actually trying to succeed like really well in high school. So nobody really likes to talk about their grades or which AP classes they're taking or what scores they got or what their goals are and things like that. And I've noticed that there's literally no other YouTube channel like that. So I know that I personally fell in love with the YouTube series Ivy Dreams. If you don't know about it, that's totally fine. It's just basically about four high school students who are trying to get into Ivy Leagues, hence the name. I was really in love with it, especially last year. I would just watch the whole thing 10 times just to get motivated. And I really was upset that they didn't have another show just like that. So since I am going into junior year, so I figured that this is the time when you guys, it will get really interesting because freshman and sophomore year aren't really that interesting. It's just kind of like taking some classes and trying not to fail. But junior year and senior year are when everything starts happening, you know, college applications, that's when the test grades and the test scores and your grades are the most important in junior year and senior year. So I figured that it'd be really interesting for some of you guys to watch. So I'm going to be telling you guys a lot over these next two years but right now I'll give you an overview of what I've done so far and what my high school goals basically are for the next two years. So in freshman year of high school I took three AP courses. I took AP Macroeconomics, AP Psychology, and AP Human Geography. I really like humanities. I got fives on all three, which was pretty cool. I did those three courses. I also did Spanish three honors. I did Algebra two honors and Chemistry honors. So those are the courses that I did my freshman year of high school. And I also took the PSAT and I don't remember what score I got since it was freshman year, which was like two years ago. But yeah, so I think it was like the 98th, 99th percentile, something like that. In sophomore year of high school, I took five AP courses. I took AP Government and Politics, US Government and Politics, AP Microeconomics, AP Biology, AP US History, and AP English Language and Competition. Composition. So yeah, those were the ones I took and I don't know my scores yet. They're actually coming next Tuesday in four days. So I'm kind of scared, but yeah, so <laughs> anyway, I also took the PSAT this year and I got a 1410, I think, which is somewhere in like the 99th or 98th percentile, something like that. I think I got 97th percentile for math, but my calculator kind of broke halfway through, so that kind of sucked. I also took two SAT subject tests. I took SAT US History and SAT Biology M, Molecular. And I don't know what I got yet, I'll find out in July, and if everything's okay, I'll let you guys in. Same thing with my AP classes. So those were the tests and courses that I took in my freshman and sophomore years of high school. So the clubs that I'm currently doing are FBLA, well I'm starting an FBLA club. I did it for two years um, at one school, but then I'm going to another school now, and they don't have an FBLA there, so I'm starting one next year. So I'm going to be president, co-president, because I'm doing it with someone else. And then also, I am going to be the president of the investment club next year, and I'm also going to be the vice president of the Model United Nations Club. And next year, I'm also planning to try to do mock trial because I actually think that I might be interested in law, but I've never really tried it, even though my parents are lawyers, which I know sounds weird. I'm also doing. Um, this thing called ICC, which is Interclub Council, which is basically a 
council of clubs in our school and I'm going to be the webmaster of that which basically means I'm going to be doing their website and keeping everyone's contacts. So as far as extracurriculars go, I don't really have that much. Right now, as far as extracurriculars go, I have tennis which is good. I got up to a ranking of 32 in the state in girls 12s and unders when I was 12, but I got injured for like two and a half years, so now I'm back. So I'm trying to build up my ranking again to hopefully somewhere in like the top 40. Um, and I also do the tennis team at the high school, so I was ranked number one last year. But yeah, that's basically like my hobby slash one of my extracurriculars. I also volunteer at the library every week, and I think I've accumulated like 230 hours so far, which is pretty nice, but I actually just like going there and sorting books because it kind of lets me de-stress, and I get to check out books all the time, which is pretty awesome since I love to read. I'm also starting an investment site this year, so if you, any of you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. But it's basically going to be an investment site for teens where people can discuss what they've done, how they did with investing, some investment tips for teens, and things like that because I think there's kind of an absence of that right now and I think it would be good for there to be a community of not just teens but also young adults just giving each other tips and tricks and discussing how their speculations and their predictions and things like that. Also the guy who is the co-president with me of the FBLA club and the president of the ICC club he actually invited me to be on this youth board of advisors for a local nonprofit organization and basically on this youth board of advisors we're going to be trying to get some ideas for fundraising for them and also how to figure out to raise money for the nonprofit organization. So yeah, that's all of the extracurriculars that I have right now. So in regards to my high school goals, my main goals are to get straight A's first of all because I've had straight A's so far. I've actually never gotten a B in my life. But I also just want to keep my GPA up and I actually want to finish in the top 3% of my class. So apart from just high school goals, I also have goals of getting into particular colleges. My goal is to get into a top, like I just want to get into a top 30 school. Obviously my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate life goal is to get into Harvard or Yale. Like I would die if I got in. I just want to get into a good school and get a good education basically. So that's my ultimate goal. But yeah, so those are basically my plans for these next few years. So I hope that you guys like this video and if you did, please leave a comment below. Leave any suggestions of videos you guys would like to see in the future. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and leave a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be making lots and lots of videos. I guess I'll see you guys next time and bye guys.